Welcome back to the channel everybody. Hey, today's vlog we caught three white bass and one snapping turtle in the face. Thanks for watching today. Make sure to hit that like button for all the awesomeness and we will see you on the next one. Just kidding, gotcha. Remember when YouTube videos used to be super short like that, like a minute? I did actually go fishing with uh, my best buddy Craig. For any of you old school fishing freaks, you, you know about the old school dangle adventures with Craig. And we did go out. And uh, it was post front conditions, it was a little tough, but here's what happened. The last time out with it, it was old red. And I want to say... It no, was... you were in this boat recently. No. Yes, you were. For what? We went fishing out here. When? It was old red? I'm no, it was not. <laughs> Big Cedar. <laughs> no, it's not. I, I think Big Cedar was... We went fishing this year. Or last year, or something. <laughs> <laughs> there it up. is. A fishing bond that's been a solid bond since we were in seventh grade. An unbreakable bond. Unbreakable. Just years between. It wasn't fighting good at first. That's a nice little bass. Right. Got one on the old clutch on this point. Oh, it's a spotted bass. That's a big, That's spot. a big spotted bass for here, dude. I haven't caught a good sized spotted bass in a long time. Wow. Really nice yeah. That is definitely one of the nicer spotted bass I've caught in a while. Look at that guy. That's a solid 15 incher. Got the tongue patch. He's on his way to be a, a good 18 inch fish one day. He's about as big as a spotted bass ever gets in Texas. See ya. What a beaut. Caught that old mud bank fish. <laughs> old mud bank fish on the clutch. Look at that shad, Jason. You got one? Yeah, a little. Oh, it came off. Came off. They must, they must be chasing right here. Chunker. So we did actually go fishing. It wasn't exactly a barn burner out there. It was just a couple of friends catching up, having a good time. The clutch, which is a lipless crankbait, good way to attack large banks and just go down them and, uh, and search for fish. I've also been hunting down more rods to give away. So in today's video, we are going to pick a, uh, a winner. Uh, I did end up finding five or six more rods. I got a couple of uh, spinning rods in here, some big sexies in there. There's some nice, there's some nice rods in there. And also in lure news this week, we finally got our swim baits in y'all like our personal supply. So I finally got a big, nice, juicy box of our new swim baits in, the Saucy Swimmers. These are available now. I'll leave a link down below for shopcarls.com where you can get these and all other Guggen baits and really most of the site. 30% off if you sign up to be a Carls member. And we have three sizes of these. There's a 3.3, 3.8, and a, uh, a 4.8, which I throw the most, but this one would be good for uh, you know, throw in as a little trailer, throw in on a, a small belly weighted hook. Anytime you got just little shad running around or, you know, you're in small waters, ponds, things that have minnows. You get six in the 4.8, you get uh, seven in the 3.8, and you get eight in the 3.3. That's usually one more than a lot of other swim baits, the style uh, that are in this style packaging. Now, there was a vlog a while back where I was talking about uh, building a shelving spot for my my dangle cave corner over here as you guys know i dabble in the wood game i enjoy it i like it it's useful especially when you're living in a house that's mostly made out of wood Whoopee! bam! check this out y'all this is a really cool uh shelving unit i built it's uh it's angled so it comes down and goes from you know big stuff up there obviously i got big paints uh, stains all of my you know stuff for like ceiling wood and polyurethanes everything like that I got lubes I got greases all that stuff you know, I'm still trying to figure it out I literally just put it up there today but I think what I'm also gonna do is build a, a little section right here to come down one more little shelf and that's going to house my drills and drivers and it's going to hang upside down and then I'll have a little shelving to put drill bits and, and things like that. Just pew, pew, pew. little side note there. 
but a uh, little project I've been working on. Now it is time to head up to the biggest dangle cave of them all, the Guggen Squad HQ, and we're going to gather the rest of these rods and we're gonna pack them in a nice bundle and ship them out to one of you that left a comment on my video I posted uh, a couple weeks ago. Let's mount up and send some poles out on the Dangle Express coming at you soon. A little bit bigger Dangle Cave we have here, everybody. I just rolled up and I did find my rods. Whoop! They're over here. So I've, I've assembled some of them. And it's looking like there's 15 or 16 in there. I've been trying to find a box that'll fit all of the links. The longest one in there is a 7.3. That rod selection really covers the gamut. A lot of meat and potatoes of, you know, 7 to 7.2, medium heavies that you can basically throw 70% of bass tackle on. Then you've got some lighter rods, more sensitive, uh, some more floppies, more floppy rods. And I've got some spinning rods in there and then a couple of stiffies, you know for the flip. Okie dokie y'all, let's get down to brass tacks here in the room that produces some of the greatest internet audio out there, you know, the Guggen cast room. So I've been going through all the comments, you guys left so many comments, I think there was over a thousand. As always, hard to pick, but I ended up going with a team that is, uh, is really growing, sounds like they, they really need the rods. Lunkers TV is calling me. Hello. I'm good. How are you doing, sir? You know, just, I'm that type of guy that books two hunts on the same weekend as me. Yeah, I, know, I already know that. You outplayed your bandwidth. <laughs> I did, but I am on my way up to the warehouse now because I, I, I was able, they mounted those tires really fast. I'm just up here in the Guggencast room going through some comments, so uh, I'll just see you when you get up here. Oh man, I'm excited. Okay. Sorry for the lunger's interruption. I think we're going to go fishing this this afternoon. So we ended up going with the comment from Derek Legrand, from White Bees. <laughs> My mind wanted to say White Bass. Wait, White Bees? White Bees? Have you ever heard of a White Bee? This cannot be right. There's White Bass, White Claws, there's Yellow Bees, there's Yellow Bass, there's Yellow Stone. Uh, but I think this is wrong. I think this is supposed to be white bear. All good though. Enjoy the rods. Like a lot of clubs out there, finding volunteers, people that want to get involved and help fishing clubs and teams isn't always the hardest part. Uh, a lot of times is the gear because it's kind of expensive, uh, especially when you start getting into more techniques and all of that. So uh, I know this is going to go to a good cause. So rods are coming your way soon. We're going to get those boxed up and uh, sent out as soon as, as soon as we get the address. Reasons to go fishing today. One, front coming in, more rain in the forecast. Possible frog bite in the forecast as well. Number two, it's just always time to go fishing. Rob apparently goes through my boat when I'm not even here. He looks, through my, looks through my stuff, tries to get my dangle secrets. <laughs> I still laugh at your uh, jerkbait box. You laugh at my jerkbait box, why? Because <laughs> it's got money signs. It has money signs on it? <laughs> yeah, so back in the day, I went through my jerkbaits and made sure they were all gonna work right. The ones that were okay, I, I put like, you know, an okay sign. The ones that were money, I put the dollar sign because they were tasty. We're on our way to give it a dangle, y'all. The team, the duo, that you enjoy. What is it, what is it about? Me and Rob going fishing. Do you get those comments yeah, on your it's channel? It's like, I, I want to see y'all fish more together. There's some sort of mysterious bond. Maybe it's because we're old. Maybe. I don't know. Is I, old a cool thing? No, not, not really. So. Are we going to get some pumpkin spice sauce right now? <laughs> you can't even say it correctly. Pumpkin spice latte? I promise I have not had a single Cooper's Light today. The pumpkin spice latte, it's, it's, um, it's a thing. That's what you do if you're uh, a person that loves pumpkin spice coffee and it's fall and it comes out. You do actually like that. I absolutely You love, like peppermint coffee as well. I love peppermint well. coffee. See, I had, we should get some peppermint coffee. I love peppermint and I had pumpkin spice cookies the other day and I was like just not one, it was like four. It was like... <laughs> wow, you're ready for fall. Anyways, we're on our way to the lake and I want to share with you guys a cool video that um, our lead producer just sent over um, showcasing our new products that we're launching right now. Lead producer, it's the first time I've heard of this. He is, he's a lead producer. I, I mean, he's, he's also 
Uh, he's just an awesome guy. We love Wes. I'm going to put it right here on our drive so you guys don't have to listen to me and Rob talk about old man stuff for a minute. And then we'll see you at the ramp. Yeah, so we got a bunch of new stuff available launching now. Link's down in the description. So what Rob did not know about today with this frontal situation that we're having, he got excited because of the potential fishing conditions, which I'm excited too, but there's definitely rain in the forecast, heavily in the afternoon. I didn't, I didn't know that. So I wouldn't have gone in the afternoon if I would have known there was pissing rain in the afternoon. This just got more interesting. Look how good that looks. I mean, it's time. Come on now. Does somebody need to call these fish and say, hey, it's fall. Wake up. Wake up and smell the filthiness. Look at that, leaves changing. Sometimes I like to speed bob it. <laughs> you know what I mean? A little speed bob through there. <laughs> it's kind of funny when you look at it. <laughs> look at it. <laughs> I am looking at it. Look, look at, at that speed bob. Speed bob. Look at it. it just goes. <laughs> oh! What? Dude, I just had a visual. Like, I thought a fish blew up on it and I almost set the hook, and it was just my imagination. <laughs> you ever had that happen no. on a top water? <laughs> no. Dude, I'm trying to. There's a little chop, and I'm trying to focus on the frog. You know, sometimes I bring it under sl slightly, yeah. subtly. And I thought it happened. I almost set the hook. <laughs> it's just my brain. Sarah's gonna ask me, how'd you get sick? <laughs> oh, I don't know. Just fishing in the rain with another man. 40 degrees. Well, that rain has arrived. 64 degree water, pond weed, little patches. We're going into the back of the creek. It should be happening right now, folks. It should be happening. Where are they? I'm thinking about putting my bibs on. Probably should do that. Yeah, can you get my set out too, Rob? Not unless you have one for me. I've got a, I've got a top. I've got a top. Well, I got a top on. Yeah, I need some booty boobs. We don't have any like spiders or anything crawling to mine since they've been in there for the last like eight months. Need some Sims chaps. <laughs> Sims chaps. on the chili side. Oh, it's definitely on the chili side, sir. Yeah, I'm in front of there, it's probably like 30 or 40 foot, so I'm gonna hold off on my... Yeah, that's why I choose to get a backlash, and then I can pick it out, and by the time it's out... <laughs> it's, by the time it stops. It's down there. Here, me... I'll tell you what, it's spotted bass delicious right here. Do you want to get spotted? I, I kind of do. Oh, I have one. Oh, oh dude. Yeah. Right-handed, weird kind of thing going on. I got bamboozled off the tail. I, I, it had to be a spot bass, 100,000 percent. Yeah, I apologize for my uh, jacket zippers hanging <laughs> right in front of the camera that whole time. They were there and the water on the screen. And just the general awfulness of this video. <laughs> trying to catch a fish. Yeah, I'm not even understanding why I'm not getting a bite. This, this should be... Like, look in the back of here. Look at all this glass. Like, that's frog haven all right there. See that? Should be. Like, I'm down in it right there. This is nine foot right here. No, I'll even go deeper. Oh. You got him? Oh! Oh! That was a really hard bite. Was it? Well, the hook is... There's a hook there. Yeah, I see the... I see How? The, I see the line. I told you this little hook is not the jam. Well, you're right I got plenty. Change it up. Are you into micro hooks now? No, that's just one of the drop shot hooks I had. Here, seriously, grab it. That is a shad hook. Donkeys only. I don't know what that's, what's that supposed to be for? <laughs> just straight for donkeys only. Oh, 
Oh, I had a oh. daggum! My only... That's a decent fish. Oh. Oh. Called him in. There's a tree down there. Look at that thing. No yep. way! Big, big, big! No! Yes, yes, yes! That is what I'm talking about. Biggie! Tell me you're recording. Yes, I am. God, you're recording. <laughs> Look at Woo! that, baby! Caught one on something other than a swim bait. Gosh dang, you're the champion of the world. Oh. Champion Rackley! Yes! Gosh, I love a good 13 and 3 quarter inch here in the <laughs> evening. Y'all, that's my first fish landed. Oh, the lunker line. I think Rob has caught about eight, eight or nine, so maybe more on a swim bait. He's been asking me the whole time, hey, hey, you want to switch? Want to switch? Hey, are you idiot? Do you want to switch? <laughs> you ever just wonder about that lone wolf fish that might come up and eat a big frog and you just wonder, <laughs> where's he at? Where's he roaming? Oh, oh, dude. I had a frog blow up. He was a solid 12 incher. Oh. Uh, sun's going down. I did catch a fish. I, I would not be skunked today. Didn't get skunked, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, that is going to do it for today. Thanks for coming along. I managed to catch one. I didn't get skunked. At least I don't have to get a tattoo now, like somebody. Dude, I'm going to make it to where at some point you are going to get a tattoo with me. Well, you know, maybe, maybe really? one day. I've got a lot of tattoos that I talk about getting and I just haven't done them, mainly because they're expensive. Stay tuned for more adventures. You know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe right here to the channel. And until the next one, ladies and gentlemen, LFG signing off. See you later. When you're on them, you're on them. Hot morning here. Catching them left and right. This guy's not too happy. Got him right in the neck. Sorry about this, buddy. Need those pliers. But yeah, when you're catching them, you know you're catching them. Toads this morning. Let's see.